The recent introduction of the Proteus by the Royal Fleet Auxiliary stands as a momentous achievement in maritime defense and surveillance for the United Kingdom. The vessel, a cutting-edge ship created to lead in underwater monitoring for the nation's security interests, was unveiled in a grand ceremony held in London. But before diving into today's video, here is a quick reminder. Our giveaway is now live, offering you the chance to win one of three iPhone 15s, our exclusive Defense Central merchandise. Find all the necessary details in the description below. So, in this video, let's take a closer look at this multi-role ocean surveillance ship and its role as a platform to drive progress in science and technology positioning the UK at the forefront of maritime security and surveillance advancements. Originally constructed in 2019, RFA Proteus was previously operated in the commercial sector as a platform supply vessel. In early 2023, it was acquired by the UK government to be the first of two ships in the multi-role ocean surveillance program. As part of this program, the RFA Proteus is an example of collaborative innovation. In just 11 months, following an investment commitment from the UK Ministry of Defence, the vessel transformed from an oil rig support ship to a specialised maritime powerhouse, showcasing the swift and efficient adaptation of existing vessels for strategic purposes. The ship has over 6,000 ton water displacement and is almost 100 metres in length making it slightly larger than RFA Stirling Castle procured around the same time. Its moon pool, measuring 7.2 by 7.2 meters, situated at the front of the working deck, offers a protective space enabling the deployment or retrieval of submersibles in rough sea conditions that couldn't be achieved using traditional over-the-side systems. Reconfigured to serve as a platform for remotely operated vehicles too, the ship includes a hangar accommodating two large ROVs. This hangar features launch and recovery systems capable of deploying the submersibles from either side. These ROVs are usually linked to the ship through an umbilical tether, transmitting control, power, and communication cables. The RFA Proteus is operated by a team of 26 Royal Fleet Auxiliary officers and sailors supported by 60 Royal Navy specialists. Several key features of this vessel are unique to the naval service, which has not operated a comparable vessel since HMS Challenger was withdrawn in 1990. Its adaptable design, featuring a flight deck, a spacious 1,000-square-meter cargo deck, and a heavy-duty crane for lifting operations, underscores its readiness for its unique mission. RFA Proteus, named after the Greek god of rivers and water, completed its trials and training off the coast of Portland before berthing alongside the iconic wartime cruiser HMS Belfast for its service of dedication. Commanding Officer Captain Martin Jones of the RFA expressed his pride in bringing RFA Proteus to the City of London for its official naming ceremony, emphasizing the public exposure this location offers to the RFA. Akshata Murti, the ship's sponsor, conveyed her anticipation for a lasting and rewarding relationship with the vessel and all associated with it. The RFA Proteus symbolizes a significant addition to the UK's maritime defense capabilities, reflecting a collective effort toward ensuring sovereignty in maritime security and surveillance. Its role as a testbed for technological advancements is poised to position the UK at the forefront of maritime security capabilities. The vessel's introduction represents a vital step forward, showcasing the adaptability of existing infrastructure to meet evolving strategic needs. Do you agree? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content.